What is going on everybody? Welcome to another setup video. So today we're actually going to be setting up the Amazon Fire TV Cube. This is basically the uh, Fire Stick but on steroids. It's supposed to have a faster processor and it has far field voice control with uh, so and so built in. I have you know who right behind me here. And so this basically combines your Fire Stick and an Echo device in a single unit. So again, it's just going to be a setup and configuration video. We're not going to go in depth as far as setting up if you have other uh, shows or Echo systems in the household. We're not going to be going through and covering those and how to set those up. This is merely just, hey, let's get it up and running. Let's see what the interface is like. Let's see how well the interface responds and just kind of play around with it from there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So real quick rundown of the stuff that comes with the box. We of course have the box. We've got the fire cube, you've got your remote, you've got an IR receiver, you've got a USB to ethernet adapter in case your Wi-Fi isn't gonna be sufficient enough. Maybe this is gonna be in a room where your Wi-Fi signal is pretty weak. This will come in handy, especially if you have that ethernet cable. And even if you don't uh, have bad Wi-Fi, for example, the TV that we're gonna be setting it up, the router is actually right behind the TV. So realistically, I could connect this with a uh, Ethernet cable and get the best bandwidth for the device. So that's completely up to you. And then of course we have our traditional power cable, which if you're familiar with Echo devices, it uses the stuff from like, I believe Gen 3 and up, so it uses the same type of power cable. So again, that's just everything uh, light that comes in it. We've got the fire cube, you've got the plus minus, so your volume, you've got your mute and your setup key right there. On the bottom we have a little speaker. Everything is kind of a gloss black. And then you've got a status bar, so if you're talking to it, this will light up blue, indicating that it's waiting for a command. And then, you again, you've got your speaker. Your connection's on the back. You've got the USB to Ethernet. You've got the infrared receiver, your HDMI, and your power. The IR receiver is great, especially if this is going to sit really low where it might have a hard time in line of sight with the either the remote or trying to turn on your accessories. This is where the IR receiver is going to come into play. You can plug this into the back, run this up underneath the TV since it's a small little tiny box. It's pretty easy to conceal and uh, you'll get better line of sight for the command. So again, that's just everything that comes in the box. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. Once you've got everything hooked up and the fire cube is finally booted, you're going to be prompted with this screen or it could be like a pairing remote screen. In any case, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to press the play pause button on the remote in order to get started. So if you see if the camera will focus here, it's this button right here, kind of the middle section, bottom row in the middle. Press that, then you're gonna want to choose your language. And on the remote here, this is gonna be kind of like your arrows. I know the camera's not focusing, but you've got your down, you've got your up, left and right, and then the center is going to be enter. So you can use that to kind of navigate. So we're gonna choose our selected, we're gonna use English, and it's gonna scan for networks. If yours is plugged in with the ethernet cable, it's most likely going to skip this step um, and just connect right away. But if you do need to connect it to the Wi-Fi, this is the step for that. So we're gonna go over here to Girls Gone Wireless and you can see that below it, it might have signal strength. Uh, yours might have some updates that it needs to do in order to see this interface, but uh, we're gonna choose the Girls Gone Wireless right there. And I'm gonna punch in my password. You're gonna to want to have yours handy in order to get started. Once you've got that in there, you can go down to continue or you can press the play pause button once again, it's going to try to connect to the uh, network. If it comes back saying it failed, double check your password. Um, if you have weak signal, it can also come back uh, as failed. So you'll want to make sure that you have good signal strength. Uh, finishing some updates, like I said, if yours has updates, it's going to automatically start to download those updates and then it's gonna reboot the Fire TV several times in order to apply those updates. So we'll just wait for the update to finish here. Uh, once all of your updates have finished, you're gonna come to this screen where it says sign in with your Amazon account. If you don't have one, you'll of course want to choose the new to Amazon create an account. But if you do have an account, go ahead and sign in from here. You're gonna to want to go to that website, amazon.com forward slash code, and then punch in the code. It makes it super easy in order to get into your device or to register your device. So I'm gonna head on over to there off camera. Right there, you can see this is where you're gonna punch in that code. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch in the code that's right there on the TV. And then I'm gonna tap on continue on the phone. So A, P, B, D, V, M, hit continue. Registration is complete. The TV should respond saying successfully registered and we're gonna continue the process. So just confirm it's your account. If it's not, you'll wanna change the account. Otherwise, tap on continue. I do not care for Amazon to have my Wi-Fi, my, wi my Wi-Fi password, so I'm gonna choose no. 
If you've had a Fire TV before and uh, you're basically upgrading to this one, you can restore it. For this, I'm going to go ahead and tap on Skip. And you have the ability to uh, set up parental controls. If you don't set up parental controls, uh, your kids can purchase things without a, without a pen. So you'll want to make sure that you've got that set up if you do. For myself, I'm going to do no parental controls. And then we're going to choose our streaming services and get started. So this allows you to go through and select all of the services that you like to have. The thing with Fire Stick is you're going to need to download the apps in order to use them for the very first time. So you might as well just go through this and choose all the ones that you have. We'll do uh, History Channel. We'll do... That's fine right there. Sports you've got, we'll do NBA. On here we've got Pandora. There was a Spotify on here at once, once upon a time, but it looks like that one's gone. Now you can still add different apps. These aren't all the apps. These are just kind of like a quickly get started, but there are other apps as you uh, use the interface. So once you've got everything selected, you're gonna want to press the play pause in order to continue. And it's just gonna say, hey, we're going to download these apps. We'll tap on finish. Fire TV Cube, enable Alexa to control your devices. This is handy, especially if you're wanting to control like sound receivers, your TV, things like that. The Fire Cube can command those with voice control. So we're actually gonna tap on continue. Uh, preparing setup, this may take a few minutes. So it's gonna go through and scan everything. And at this point, if you have sound bars, AV receivers, things like that, you're gonna want to make sure that those are on. Uh, so she can start talking to them. So we're going to tap on next. Uh, I do not have an AV receiver, but I do have a sound bar. So we're going to tap on add a sound bar. You will want to choose your corresponding manufacturer. I'm going to tap on Vizio. During the next step, we will play music while we learn about your sound bar. So I'm going to click on next. Uh, I do hear the music, so I'm going to click on yes. So the music did mute, so we know that it's talking to the soundbar. So we click yes again. If yours says no, you're gonna to wanna to tap no. It's gonna have some other troubleshooting steps that you're gonna to need to go through. Uh, now we'll bring the music back. Yep. And now turn your soundbar off. Turning your soundbar off. This may take a minute. Please wait. So it's gonna turn the soundbar off. And then it should turn it right back on just to confirm that the power function will turn the things on and off. Because the cool thing with the remote press fast forward on your Fire TV is remote. pressing the power button on the Amazon remote will allow it to turn on the TV, basically turn everything on all at once if you like that. So uh, is your sound bar off, the music stopped? Yes. Turning your sound bar back on. This may take a minute. Please wait. We'll wait for just a moment. And you can see that in the bottom left, we did. Everything worked out. So now when I use the volume and everything on the Amazon remote, it's going to control the soundbar, which is great. I'm gonna tap on continue. Like I said, if yours did not, you're gonna to want to go through some of the other troubleshooting steps. You can skip it for now. We can always go back later and I'll show you that here in just a moment. Start a 30 day free trial. If you don't have Prime, you can do that. I have it, so I'm gonna click on now. Uh, they just go through, let you know that they've updated the interface, all that cool stuff, it got it. Okay, so the biggest thing is we're gonna choose this profile is I wanna see how well, how responsive the interface is because on the Fire Stick, at least some of the older ones, it was very laggy. You definitely, it definitely took some time to move through things. So this one's supposed to have a really nice processor, supposed to be of course a 4K capable, or 4K up, up to 4K, and it's supposed to be just very responsive. So I'm gonna flip through everything real quick here. Um, the other one, flipping through like this, it definitely would lag and kind of stutter and, and freeze. This has been uber responsive compared to the other one, which is a great start, and everything checks out on that. One thing real quick, let's go up into the settings here to kind of go through an overall configuration of it. Uh, so if you go all the way to the top, you can go to the home, you've got find, you've got live, you've got some of the other apps here that you can do, but all the way over to the right, we're gonna click on the gear. And you can see that we've got some settings here. Notifications, these are gonna be anything that Amazon or the uh, Fire Stick needs to, or the Fire Cube needs to alert you about. Those will be found in there. Account and profile settings, pretty self-explanatory. You can set up your account and add account, etc. If you need to change networks or reconnect to a different network or whatever, you can do that in here. Display and sounds, let's tap into here for a second. You can set up a screensaver, 
uh, different display resolutions, audio, all that good stuff is in here. Applications, this is where you can go in to manage your applications. If you have an app that you no longer want, you can go in here and manage those and remove it. Uh, equipment control, if you had some issues getting your soundbar or AV receiver set up, equipment control is where you'll find all of those settings where you can manage them and also set up new equipment. So you'll find that in here. Uh, live TV, this is just live TV that you'll find broadcasting to the Amazon system. You can find that in there, all the settings. Controllers and Bluetooth devices. You of course can set up multiple TV remotes. You can set up game controllers like an Xbox or a PS5 controller, mobile devices, and then you can also set up uh, keyboards and mice to control the TV as well. So tons of different options as far as controlling it. Uh, this is you know who, we're not gonna say her name because she's you know listening all over, no big deal. Uh, the Alexa app, things to try, as I just say it, things to try, favor this device, communications, you can change your wake work, so all of those voice control system or settings will be located here. Going over to preferences, we've got parental controls, privacy, data monitoring, feature content, notification, you've got all of your kind of like your miscellaneous preferences are going to be located in this section. And then of course, oh, go down to My Fire TV. Uh, developer options, legal compliance, you can put it to sleep, you can restart it, and if you are planning on either returning this or giving it away or to somebody else, you can always reset it to factory defaults, which will remove all of your Amazon account information off of this Fire Stick and basically create it as if it was a brand new device. So, accessibility, you've got things like closed caption, Alexa caption, voice view, text banner, Screen magnifier, you've got all of your uh, accessibility options in here, which is great. And then last one, you've got your help section. So overall, the interface is very uh, user-friendly. It's very bullet point to the point and is a nice interface, especially if you're upgrading from one of the original Fire Sticks. They have done a great job as far as making this sleek and efficient. So props to them. So like I said, this allows you to combine the uh, Echo feature, so voice control with the uh, smart app features, so if you have an older TV that may not have uh, inner voice control integration, the FireCube is definitely gonna be probably what you're looking for because it's gonna combine all of that, which is great. So if we wanted to say, uh, Alexa, open up NBA. Okay. So you can see that we use the voice command in order to open up the application, and you can do that to open up different episodes or shows that you're trying to watch. It's everything is now full voice control and you can even use it to turn things on and off. So if we say, Alexa, turn the TV off. You can see that it shuts down the TV and it also shut down the sound bar. So you can definitely use it for things like that. And we say, Alexa, turn the TV on. It may take a second for the commands to come through, especially if it, after you turn it off. If your TV is connected hardwired, and may not be able to turn it back on because they do shut off the ethernet or the LAN port when it's on hardwire. Wireless usually keeps a uh, small trickle of electricity to keep it active. You can see that it turned everything right back on. So there you have it, really set up and easy to do. I absolutely love the interface of the Fire Stick and I think the Fire TV Cube is gonna be even better. Uh, it definitely seemed a little bit more responsive than the Fire Stick, especially if you have one of the older ones. And again, it combines the uh, ecosystem to where you can use full voice control. So I'm really excited to go around, go through and play around with this thing and get kind of a more of a feel of what this thing has to offer. But that's gonna do it for today's video. You should be, uh, you should by now have everything set up. It should be functioning. So play around with it, see how you like it. If you have any other questions or comments, uh, place, that, place those down in the comment section. I'd love to uh, connect with you on those and kind of answer any questions as soon as I can. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it, you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. Would you like to see more of these type of videos? I know I did them uh, kind of way back when and kind of trying to trickle some here and there. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. If you guys want to support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Got a lot of cool merch over there that you guys can check out. Thanks again for what you guys do. Thanks again for watching and the support, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>